What up guys, Annie and Terry Guild Forever, this is going to be a brief little review for Digimon Ghost Game Episodes 10, 11, and 12. So, this is going to be for the like goal since we actually, I'm pretty sure by this point we hit over 60 likes. Um, I completely forgot that 60 likes meant one series gets 6 episodes, so I'm just going to do this for now, for now. The next time I do another juggle in of, three, of one episode for 3 series again... And once we hit that like goal, if it's 60 or more, I'll make sure this time for sure I'm going to pick one series that gets the six episode treatment. But for now, this is what I'm going to do. So Digimon Ghost Game gets three episodes. The next day, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Kamen Rider Deno gets three, and then Ultra Q gets three. Okay, that's how I'm going to do it for the next couple days. Also, I apologize if this video came out a little late, been busy, gaming, Pokemon, a uh, little... I guess you can say it was kind of preoccupied as well with what was going on with the... Yeah, I'm not going to talk about that because i rather not have that energy in my channel. i rather do things that makes people feel happy, makes people feel positive, not talk about things like that. Because the only thing that's going to do is stress people out and have a negative mindset, which we don't want that on the channel. So, yeah, that's what's going to happen. But before I continue with the review, I'm going to do my usual plugins. Don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already comment and then watch this video from beginning to end because once again we already have the 1k subs but we need to get the watch time up so we can finally hit that youtube algorithm become monetized and further expand the channel so please guys i can't stretch it enough watch this video from beginning to end or watch as much as you are able to and if you don't want to do that if you don't want to do that you're just going to click off this video and just go straight to the reaction link is in in the description below by the way then um, at least hit the like button before leaving like if you can at least do me a solid and hit that like button before exiting off of this video I'd be more than happy with that. That's good enough for me. If you can do that. I'm I'm a hundred percent cool with that So yeah, please guys and besides you want to hit that like button Well to be honest there is no like goal right now for this because we already reached the like goal and right now I'm just doing my part in uh, giving you guys, giving you guys the pretty much the benefits off of reaching the like goal, which is three episodes of Ghost Game, three episodes of Deno, and then three episodes of uh, Ultra Q. Deno is going to be tomorrow. Ultra Q is going to be the day after that. Okay, so that's how we're going to do it. So there is no like goal for this one, but if you were to hit the like goal, I'd be more than happy with that. And for those, I'll, I'll still inform everyone just so people know. So pretty much this is how it's going to go down. All right, <clears throat> so. I do this now for this new project. It, like it was a new project a couple weeks to a month ago, but now it evolved into something more, which is Cross Jugur Henshin Bostomodo. Yes, I know that is a long ass name. I know, I know, but but um, that's the name I came up with. So pretty much, um, this is how it goes. It's pretty much a liking system, and if you guys can reach a like goal in this system. There are benefits to it. So this is what it is. So every single time I release an upload for three series. So that would be in three, three different redirect videos. And if the like goal reaches at a certain point, we get to do something special for reactions. And by the way, it's not just one video reaches this like goal, then it happens. No, all the likes for the three redirect uploads I'm going to have on YouTube here, like redirect re slash reviews, like the likes will stack for all three. And once they once we get the results, we'll see which like goal it meets. So, for example, if all three redirect videos I upload, right, if all three redirect videos I upload all stack together and they reach the like and and they reach the like goal of 20 likes then we will get um another one episode each cross struggle henshin in the following day but if we're under the 20 likes we'll still get like another three another three episode another three series one episode each sorry it's a little confusing but i'm trying to, my best to explain it so we get another set of three one episode each and um the like goal starts all over again except one series gets replaced for that one because we didn't meet the goal but if we get 30 likes uh no 25 likes or more then 
one of those series that get uh, one of those three series will get two episodes. So it'd be like one redirect that's one episode, another redirect that's one episode, and the next redirect it has two. You know what I mean? It's like that. If we reach 30 likes or more, then Wooden Series gets the three episode treatment. So on that, on that, like the day afterwards, that's whatever series I pick among those three um, redirect series for the Cross Juggle Henshin will get a three episode treatment. And then it recycles itself all over again, essentially. So, but if we reach 40 likes or more, two of those three series will get the three episode treatment if we get 50 likes from 50 likes then all three get the three episode treatment and then finally if we hit 60 likes or more then one of those series gets the six episode treatment all right those are the like goals for you guys know so it's not confusing anyway let's get into the review because i'm already like six minutes six minutes into this and i kind of just want to cut it at 10 minutes because i got other things i want to upload predominantly on patreon so, um, yeah, so pretty much a lot of uh, went down these episodes. Jellymon finally got her form, which is Tesla Jellymon. I find it funny that it's Tesla. That's funny. Her moves are complicated as hell, though, man. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, really? Why, why, why are your moves so complicated to say, man? Can't you just... Can't you just be like uh, Gammon or be old Gammon and just be like Soul Shoto and then just be happy with that? I'd be happy with that, but it's fine. It's fine. For me, more or less, she still kind of looks the same. I mean, you you can tell there's obvious noticeable differences, but for me, the most part, she kind of still vaguely kind of looks the same. But the thing is, I mean, when I think about it, Gammon and all his other like evolutionary lines, uh, no, there is some subtle differences, but it still feels to a point to where it's its own form. You know what I mean? Well, uh, Tesla Lilymon, there just literally feels like she just put her head like her like put something over her face and then she has like a lot more tentacles but it's still fine though it was cool to see a new form finally and can't wait for anguramon to finally for him to get his form because it kind of hints it in the opening and it does look really really cool i'm not gonna lie to you so i look forward to his form but after episode 12 gammon finally has all of his other lines met like we got we got uh, Beetle Gamamon. We have Kausga Cam Kau Kaus Gamamon, and then finally, uh, Weezen Gamamon. I think that's I said it right. So yeah, he finally has his other lines for the champion level revealed already. Now at this point, I'm pretty sure it's up to when he's going to be able to unlock his ultimate form. As I stated previously before, though, I think whenever we see that dark, that dark silhouette of his when he always fought a uh, Clockmon, we kind of got a little brief like glimpse of his potential ultimate form. It does not look like it's a friendly one, though. It looks like it could be an out of control one. And for those of you that don't know, in Digimon. A lot of the times, the main MC or the Digidestin leader, predominantly, he always, he or she, let's be honest, it's mostly a he, um, they always go in a state of mind to where they need their Digimon to reach a certain pinnacle in order to take out the threat that's opposing them because they're powerless to the point to where the leader legitimately forces the Digimon to digi Digivolve, entering this sort of... Uh, malicious um malicious evil form it happened with uh when greymon digivolved into a skull greymon and then it happened when a uh, geomon takato forced him to digivolve into i forgot what was it named but jesus christ though that one looked terrifying that one looked legitimately terrifying to me what other times were, were there other times the only one i remember the most was uh uh, tai Chi's when he forced Agumon to go into when he forced Greymon to go to the ultimate level and it turned out he was he turned into Skull Greymon and then and then Takato did we ever had instances where other Digidestined leaders kind of forced their evolution and kind of turned into some kind of deformity or some kind of um like really evil form of uh evil other evolutionary form of theirs because I don't remember other ones. But then again, it's been a while since I've seen Digimon, so probably forgot. 
I feel like though with Digimon Ghost game, it's a huge possibility that um Hiro might force Gamamon into the ultimate form, forcing that horrific silhouette form to appear. For now, it's kind of appearing without him really doing anything. Granted, it only happened when Gamamon interfered, so we'll have to see him what's gonna become of that because as of now I'm kinda concerned. But we'll see, we'll see by the time it gets to that point. Um anyway, I'm gonna end the review here. I need to get to Patreon reaction. So uh hashtag 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 uh we zen ga we zen If I said it wrong, please correct me on the actual hashtag, okay? In the comment section down below. Anyway guys, peace. I'm out.